guys, welcome to another video. This is lecture number 26, the second coming of the Lord. Um, I'm very excited because we know that we are almost finishing with lectures, with the 27 lectures. And um, today we have a very important lecture and it is about the covenant the Lord has given us about his returning, right? We know that we are here to prepare the way for the Lord to come back. So to put this time in our Lord's hand, please join me with a prayer. Good Father, in this moment, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for this covenant that you have given us in our hands because you entrusted this covenant to us. You entrusted this truth in our hands, Lord. Thank you because we are not worthy of, of your gospel. Nevertheless, you chose us to be, to be those people who are going to take the gospel until the ends of the world. Uh, we want to worship you, Lord. We want to, to believe in you every day more. And we want to see your second coming, Lord. Please allow us to see it in our days. Please allow us to, to run this race of the faith and to finish it, Lord, because we know that all of this comes by grace. That's why today we pray to you and we thank you in the precious name of Jesus, who means the Christ. Amen. So guys, this is lecture number 26, the second coming of the Lord. The Lord has allowed us to learn in our previous lectures about the Christ. Now we know and believe that Jesus is the Christ. He is our true and perfect King who defeated Satan. He is our true and perfect priest who solved our problem of sin. And he is our true and perfect prophet who reconciled us with God. But this is only a part of the new covenant of which we are participants. Besides that, there is something very important that this new and better covenant implies, and it is the returning of our Lord Jesus, who is the Messiah. And this is the purpose of our faith. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse 1 to 3, Jesus gave us a promise about this. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. The second coming of the Lord is mentioned more than 300 times in the New Testament. The Bible also states that God is not human that he should die, not a human being that he should change his mind. So if he promised, he will surely fulfill it. But there are some characteristics of the second coming of the Lord. In the book of Luke chapter 21 verse 27, we can read that he will come in a cloud with power and great glory. And in the book of Matthew, we can see many other characteristics. For example, Matthew chapter 24, verse 36 states that no one knows about the day or hour, even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, only the Father. So, guys, we need to be very careful, because if anybody says that he knows when the Lord is coming back, that person is lying. So as we do not know when is the Lord coming, we need to be ready at any moment, right? Just as Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 says, but how do you get ready for this moment? Well, we can find the answer in the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. This, guys, is the key point of the new covenant. The only way for us to be prepared for the day of the second coming of the Lord 
is to believe with all of our heart that Jesus is the Messiah and to work for him. This is the faith that the Lord wants to find when he comes back. And if we believe that we have the perfect answer from God to all mankind, we are going to share it so that more people can believe in this too and they may be saved from their spiritual and fundamental problem. And in this way, we are getting prepared and we are being used by God to fulfill this word with our own lives. Maybe you have heard before that he is coming for his church. Well, it doesn't refer to a building, it is referring to ourselves. We who believe in Jesus as the Messiah are the church, because as we learned in our previous lectures, now we are a temple of the Holy Spirit as it dwells in us. So guys, to summarize this lecture, we said that now we are participants of a new covenant. We know that the first covenant was about the first coming of the Messiah, and that covenant was already fulfilled by Jesus. And we have a record concerning this in the New Testament. But he gave us another covenant when he resurrected and ascended to heaven. And that covenant is about the second coming. And let us read Revelation chapter 22 verse 12 to confirm this. Look, I am coming soon. My reward is with me and I will give to each person according to what they have done. In Revelation chapter 22 verse 20, he who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come Lord Jesus. So guys, now you know what is the second covenant of the Lord. We know that this is a better covenant and we are participants of this because God is doing world evangelization using our lives. So we don't have any other option than to be very thankful with him because of this, okay? So uh, let us close with a prayer, guys. So please join me closing your eyes. Uh, good Father, we want to thank you today for this lecture. Thank you for this covenant that is better than the first one. Thank you for the life of the Christ. Thank you because you gave everything, Lord. You you gave yourself. You gave your own body. And you didn't think of being equal to God as something to hang on. But you gave all your life for us because you loved us so much. Because you so loved the world that you gave your one and only begotten Son. Thank you, Lord, in this time for everything that we have learned today. Please allow us to put it in practice and please allow us to, to see your second coming in our days. So guys, that was lecture number 26. See you next time.